It was at the beginning of the 20th century when a German scientist, Alfred Wagner, proposed that the continents of the Earth had been attached together when it first formed, but then drifted in different directions and thus separated as they moved away from each other. This theory of Wagoner's was proved in the 1980s. It was found that the six major plates and several small ones, which form the crust and the uppermost part of the mantle, were in constant motion. According to the theory called plate tectonics, these plates move about on Earth, carrying continents and the ocean floor with them. This motion has been measured at one to five centimeters per year. Consequently, this produces a slow change in Earth's geography. Each year, for instance, the Atlantic Ocean becomes slightly wider. Science discovered this only recently. The fact that it was revealed 14 centuries ago in the Quran is, without doubt, another of the book's many miracles. You see the mountains you reckon to be solid, going past like clouds. God referred to the motion of the mountains in the verse of the Quran. Today, scientists use the term continental drift for this motion. It is without doubt a great miracle that this scientific fact should have been revealed in the seventh century when conceptions of the nature of the universe were based on superstition and myth. This is another very important proof that the Quran is the word of God. فنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد